The danger posed by equine tapeworms often escapes notice because many testing methods cannot accurately detect the presence of tapeworms in horses. And without knowing whether or not they are present, researchers cannot accurately portray their effect within the horse. The problem is simple. As we discussed earlier, the tapeworm eggs don't float in the typical medium used for a faecal egg flotation test, the test normally used to check for parasitic infections. Researchers found, however, that this test was only about 3.1% accurate for tapeworms. The lack of accuracy in this test made establishing the dangers of tapeworms difficult at best. In fact, in 1993, Veterinary researchers Proudman and Edwards were only able to say that their studies suggested an association between tapeworms and colic. More recently, however, due to equine tapeworms being the subject of much research into the suspected association between anaplacephala perfoliata infection and intestinal disease in the horse, new and novel diagnostic tests have emerged. Chris Proudman and others have published many papers showing the association between tapeworms and colic and papers detailing the development of an illicit test for estimating tapeworm burdens. The degree of correlation between the antibody and infection intensity makes this illicit test a potential useful diagnostic and epidemiological tool. Although some animals with low levels of infection intensity will give negative results, the test consistently recognises those with moderate or high infection intensities. This test is available in the UK from Diagnostic Services in Liverpool. It is currently unavailable in Australia. Historically, tapeworm were thought not to cause disease. However, recent research has shown that these worms are involved in serious intestinal disorders including colic, intestinal blockages and or displacements and even death. A study by Proudman and others in 1998 found that tapeworms were associated with 22% of spasmodic colic cases and 81% of ileocecal impactions.